hello and good morning good afternoon good evening habari um starting this live uh today we'll be speaking with um l win talk show so waiting for them to join hi how are you everybody by the way today i'm the one that's being interviewed <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Madam Chungaji. Hello, how are you? Jamaji Mchungaji, I think one day neither can end up with Mchungaji. Well, definitely. As long as you accept it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, yeah. uh, it is... platform to me to me to up like in it is a show so i will let you take this on uh, uh, asante sana tunashukuru kwanza kabisa tunakushukuru kwa ku, uh, kwa kukubali wito wetu na ya yeah, na kuweza kuingia pamoja hapa na kuweza ku ongea yale ambayo tumeona yanaweza kawa pia ni faida kwa jamii not jamii tu atakuwa na nchi ambao wanatusikiliza yeah. na hata wale yeah. ambao watatusikiliza baadaye yes kwa hiyo uh, uh, kwanza kabisa uh, ni kupata kujua siji yani unajua nimekaa nimefikiria watu wanamfahamu uh, Patricia uh, kwa kiasi gani huyu Patricia Ishemo ametoka wapi na ni, ni mtu wa namna gani how can you describe yourself kwa nini hiyo ni nakupa na introduction alafu baadaye nitakuomba u decide kwa sababu wa talk show hii Elms talk show imekita more into relationship na tuna tuna deal na ku uh, na ku advise watu kwenye mambo ya mahusiano uh, ndoa na pamoja hata before marriage kwa hiyo tunajitahidi kuwa kuwasaidia pale ambapo tunapoweza ili wao yeah. wafikie pale ambapo inapaswa wao kufika not necessarily sisi tumefika au hatujafika lakini kwa sababu tunaona vitu vya mbele tunaweza tukasaidia mtu aweze kufika kama akaamua okay. kukubali ili kufika huko okay. sasa before uja, uja ingia na kusema hujajintroduce kama jinsi nilivyokuomba mm -hmm. uh, this is elwin talk show and in elwin talk show tuna hard talk or easy talk mm -hmm. so you choose je tu, tuende na wewe katika hard talk ama tuende na wewe katika easy talk that's a, if you choose neutral tunaenda neutral so <laughs> ndeni unabakiwa na either way unaweza ka choose hard talk ama unaweza ka choose easy talk so it's up to you what do you decide you know what um yeah. let's do both however you know let's do both uh, i'll try mtajaribu uh, kujibu naomba Mungu anipe busara kujibu try to as the one can nikishindwa you know yeah. we can skip yeah hautashindwa hautashindwa okay all right Okay, asante sana. Ninaomba nianze kwa kuuliza. Who is Patricia Ishemo? Mm -hmm. hmm. Uh you know, it's funny uh kama you asked that kwa sababu for a long time mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa najiuliza who am I? Mimi ni nani? Because I didn't know. Uh, mm. and I I came to realize um just a few uh weeks maybe months ago kama mimi ni nani uh ina nafasi yangu ni nini hapa katika dunia um so um mimi uh nataka kwenye familia ya um uh baba na mama na wadogo zangu watatu wazazi wangu wafariki um nimekwenda shule uh, boarding school nikiwa na miaka kama nani ama tisa and uh, being nimesoma boarding mpaka namaliza um, 
elimu ya sekondari uh, ni Christian nimelelewa katika misingi values za Kikristo ambazo kiukweli ziliniingia na zimenisaidia katika maisha yangu and ni mtu ambaye napenda watu napenda kufurahi um, nina msemo wangu moja don't worry be happy uh, ni mtu ambaye kiukweli nafurahia sana nikiona watu wanafanikiwa and so I, nikiangalia maisha yangu most times is surrounded i mean within that realm I'm like you know how, what can i do to ona mtu ana you know ana move kutoka kwenye step moja hadi nyingine so mm. that's just who i am mtu ambaye anapenda kuona watu wako na furaha hata kama it is kwenye coast yangu you know i naweka watu mbele kabla yangu and so uh, naanza kujifunza siku hizi kumbuka na mimi nijiweke pale but that's just who i am mtu wa furaha kwa right. sababu umesao pia you are a comedian unajua <laughs> <laughs> the other things ambazo nimekuja ku realize like i yeah. nikosi juu like and i still don't get it see so, anyway, how i'm a comedian i'm just myself you know me don't like unajua. the only fun, what's funny i don't know what's funny like yeah unajua you are so funny kiasi kwamba eh, nafikiria Uh, ingekuwa ni namna ukawa na TV yako jasi yeah. unafanya kwenye TV yani ingekuwa more fun lakini hata hapo unapofanya yani nafikiria yani itunarizika katika asilimia kubwa sana kwa hiyo yeah. kwa kweli nina appreciate kitu ambacho ninafikiria sengine kuna kitu ambacho unafanya na nafikiria mfano ulipika pilau yeah. <laughs> ukaipitisha kwenye cold <laughs> nikajiuliza je mtu ambaye anaishi jirani angefungua mlango asingeona huyu mchawi huyu vipi anapita na chakula anafanya hivi au kuna cheza mpaka kwenye uko fikiria hilo no yani you know um mara nyingi nikifanya kitu sio kwamba nimekipanga ni naweza tu nikajanyuka I, you know na so come I'm like I'm going to do this to be funny kuchekesha mtu ama nini I'm like you know what I'm going to find you know let me just do this what my nigga actually I make natengeza video ili baada ya niangalia alafu na save alafu baada mwaka miaka kadhaa baadaye nakuja huwa napenda kurudi kuja kuziangalia hiyo ndio sababu waga nafanyaga unaelewa so it's going to be cut up pilau niko na rafiki yangu Christine and I was like Christina hebu let me join recording when you know I, but I didn't know it was going to turn out to be funny na kiukweli nilikuwa nasema sasa natamani majirani kwa sababu hapa kuna kukaa kuna a lot of Asians na mimi wajirani wangu karibu wote ni Asians ama Asian na kitu kingine lakini niko na majirani so I was like leo wata wakija kuniona like mimi ni family like yeah ni stuff tuka na nitakuwa very serious na nitapitia kila ulangu hivi you know what i mean so i was actually looking for, i was waiting to wanna something like that happen in it, so that i can get the reaction but unfortunately i hakuja you know but the next day na jirani yangu upande wa pili alikuja kuomba mayai so <laughs> so that is like i still a roof and You know alinona nje actually from balcony maki balcony ngo pale niko na picha pilo langu pale nikasa oh god you know so it can establish a relationship but i what i was looking for was a reaction kwamba watafikiria vipi you know wow. yeah ulipoenda kwenye balcony ukafanya hivi nikasema if ningeponyoka pale chini yani ungerudi tena kupika <laughs> no so ndio ndio kwenda kupika wa, no 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 kiu kweli nisingepika ningeenda kuchora la juju ile nikibeba ni no na niko serious i'm serious ningepeba la juju afu la chini tungeenda ni yeah i say safi sana okay <laughs> jamani ni sasa hebu twende na na tumeni tutaenda vizuri uh, na fry kwa introduction nzuri tumekufahamu na uh, na natumaini ndugu zako popote walipo uh, wako wanaendelea vizuri kwa ndugu zako wewe ni wa kwanza kwenu any unfortunately 
nilikuwa naona yani i'm like hivi mimi ndo wa kwanza ndo wanantegemea yeah. mimi nilikuwa naona wadogo zangu huruma wazazi wangu huruma you know mama wangu yeye sometimes naisa kwa nasikitika so oh my god huyu ndo mtoto kwanza oh my god huyu ndo yeah mimi ndo wa kwanza all right Oh, right brother sisters behind uh, yeah iko na na mdogo wangu anafuata Priscilla uh, and then my brother Frederick tuko watatu oh, alafu okay. yeah tuko tu watatu that's it all right all right yeah. okay ah sabsan sabsan okay umependeza that's good hilo hiyo hiyo hilo gaoni from Tanzania i guess umekuja nale kwa sababu kwambia hapa sijaoga. Yaani kiukweli. <laughs> siri yako, siri yako. Sijaoga. Yaani ni kwamba ni maana ke. Yaani no, yaani acha ni ni honest. Mimi napenda kuwa honest. Sijaoga. Yeah. All right. Ni maana yaani nimeona uh Winnie kanifigia film. We had a we had a plan, ndio. Mimi nimejisahau, nilikurupuka tu. Nimesema wacha ni wacha kitu chochote. Nikafanya na imbo. Nimetoka Tanzania lakini na rafiki yangu anaitwa Christine. Ah, uh, alinipaga zawadi mwaka jana. Ilikuwa intoshi hii ndio mara kwanza nimeva inatosha. So yes, mm. nimetoka Tanzania. Mhm. Nice one. Elwin Talk Show imepata. Ndio mara ya kwanza. Nimependeza sana. Nimependeza. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, ya uh, Elwin Talk Show ni channel ambayo ipo kwenye YouTube unaweza kuandika Elwin's Talk Show ni YouTube channel na ukapata baadhi ya mafundisho ambayo yako pale tumerusha ya yeah, ukipendezwa okay. unaweza ka subscribe mm-hmm. au ka like na kushare to anyone you want to like na okay. tutaenda vizuri asante sana pia kwa kujoin uh, chini ya dada mkuu wetu hapa dada mchungaji eh dada pati hiyo huwa ndio unabii huo Ah uh, samani wili naomba ni naomba ni kuombe kama unataka kuandika the name of the talk show so we can pin it up uh, so that oh. people can <coughs> Andika to please subscribe to yeah Na uenda kweli nikaja kuwa mchungaji kweli maana yake kiukweli wakati niko kifungilo yani kuna wakati nilikuwa na ile desire nilikuwa nafanya bible knowledge nilisoma bible knowledge na nilipenda sana you know biblia neno nilipenda sana Uh, mama nyingi mimi hata tukibishana ni yani always na refer back to the to the word of god yani um mm. so nikajifikia labda niende nikasomee kwa pastor nini nini yeah. so but then like I was like ah, I'm not sure you know if I'm cut for it but yeah maybe one day <laughs> yeah ungeenda but still kuna chance Mungu aishiwe na chance oh, yeah. unaweza yes all right Ah, uh, nimeona mahali wewe ni CEO, si oh, executive mm. officer mm-hmm. of the EOD yeah. team. Can you yeah. please explain ulianzaje na how do you advertise it? Okay. Okay. okay, how did I start? Um, hmm. It's a long kwanza. story. Okay. Um, IoT manake Internet of Things. Yaani vitu vinakuwa connected kwenye internet. Umeona kama mm, right. you know, star, yeah. na kuna connection yake. Okay? So yeah, yeah. it actually ilianza this is a dream ya muda mrefu. It's a little bit that dream wake up short. But me dream ya muda mrefu. Um nilifanya kazi, nimeni kuzungumza hapa. Kuna kazi moja nilifanya. Um ambayo ilikuwa ni it's not desirable umeelewa you know it's okay. not a desirable but i i did it and kuna watu wameitwa kufanya vitu tofauti kuna watu wengine wameitwa to do something like that so ile kazi ni wakati naifanya ila nilikuwa 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 ndogo sana umeona mm. uh, and nika nika na rafiki yangu mmoja alikuwa na na partner huyo partner ali alikuwa anafundisha darasa. Na uh, sasa la mambo ya IT. Sasa mimi mambo ya IT um so kama nilikuwa yani nilikuwa savvy vile lakini kidogo nilikuwa na ile computer kupita hivi kuingia kwenye password za watu kuvunja vunja those things nilikuwa napenda na najua. So nikafikia ni IT like that. Sasa 
yule alikuwa na rafiki yule shemeji yangu at the time alikuwa na rafiki yake so yule rafiki yake um ali yule shemeji alimfundisha sasa so, tuko tunamjua tu jamaa yuko hapo hivi hivi you know mnaona mna china ifa mna kape mna kula nyama siku moja jamaa akati anamfundisha tunaona pale anafundisha kila siku karudi kapata kazi kapata kazi nzuri inalipa pesa nyingi sana eh na mimi nikasikia kuna pesa hapo Eh nikaona acha na mimi nichukue darasa. So nikaingia kwenye ile darasa na mimi ilikuwa ni ngumu hivyo kwao lakini nikapigana pigana pigana. Baada ya miaka miwili ah uh, nikaja nikapata kazi yani nilipigana kweli yani sana sana. Nikapata kazi. So nilipoingia katika ile kazi kikuu nilikuwa mimi sijui kitu. Ila mimi ni mbabaisha. Yaani mimi na tititititi unaji najua I have a way to ufanye ufanye kwa kufanya kitu kifanyike umeona so nikawa befriend watu wa hindi nini neno watu wanaojua so nikikwama unanisaidia najua nipige na nini lakini kazi nakuwa nafanya ni na deliver kazi nafanyika unaona so nikaenda hivyo nikapanda 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 mpaka ikafika point kwamba sitaji really msaada mimi mwenyewe nafanya ninajiweza so kuna siku nikawa nimekaa kwenye kampuni moja niliwasaidia wakasave kuna kitu nilikivumbua ambacho kwa very simple kwa sababu naweza kutumia millions of dollars ukirekebisha umeona kuleta timu moja wafanye nini sasa ndio sasa una hiki katika wiki kati ya tundu wangu hivyo pamoja kama sijui kitu nikagonda mbona hichi mimi nimefanya ni kimefanyika kwa hiyo nikaenda kuongea na boss it was a very simple fix unaona so nikaa nimeita watu kama tumekaa pale na VP na nani you know na director so kaje kama you know kuelezea how you know imefanyaje nini nini so tuka timu yetu yani timu yetu kwa watu wachache sana ikapewa like wow umefanya jambo zuri nini boss wangu akaniita wow you know so si kuamini kwa mimi nimefanya hivyo so lakini wakati nimekaa kwenye kile chumba kwanza nilikuwa natetemeka mpaka ndani ya roho yani nilikuwa natetemeka kwa sababu nikiangalia nilikotoka sijamaliza shule unajua nimeingia huko kiujanja ujanja niko na watu ambao wili umeenda shule unafanya unajua na wanajua nikasijuta mimi nafanya nini hapa you know yani what am i doing yani machozi yakawa yanani toka sasa niko kumkuta na father about to speak yani kajikaza kwa hiyo from there nikasema mimi am not deserving kuepo hapa lakini kuna mimi nimeingia hapa kwa sababu mimi ni mjanja naweza nikaingia kokote nikiamua anyway at a white house if i put my mind into it i can yo na nataka ni hivi yani yo so na kuna watu wengine hawana hiyo kitu so me unfortunately i mean fortunately niko nayo so from there idea ika burst yani kama ikazaliwa kwamba lazima watu ambao wako deserving kwa hii sector ya IT wa yani wapate nafasi umeelewa then namba mbili ikawa kwamba um nikawa nafikiria the way um you know watoto wadogo this was like fast forward maybe miaka miwili baadaye uh Madeline alikuja alikuwa na miaka sita ama saba alikuja kana mimi kufungua kompyuta na nini kaona nini nini asituka mfungua kompyuta eh hey, umeona hichi nimeona mother boss umeona nini hichi kitu ni kwa kweli okay so nikaa na muangalia kana ambia oh, mama tofa hivi vitu hivi vitu hivi anakuja kunielezea so nikaanza kufikiria you know nini yani okay na fraia kuona kwamba mtoto wangu amepata opportunity kadhaliwa hapa na ana 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 you know sita kusema ni better chance but she does have a chance kuliko mtu wao yuko same nyingine but i just don't want kuona mtoto wangu tu ndio anapata hiyo chance kwa sababu na ndugu zangu kwa kwenye mani ndugu zangu na wazazi wangu kuna watoto so i want to see what to help here wanapata hiyo opportunity kama aliyokuwa nayo so idea made kama kai push mwanelewa baka kia kuja na video zake alikuwa kadogo kadogo kaambia kanaelezea ni 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 nini, nini, nini. nikamwambia tunasaidia kufundisha watu na ni kama mwalimu made is very good ajio kufundisha na patience ana anapata wanga uelewa fulani vipo anaweza kumuelezea mtu so idea ikakuja hapa sasa ndo kwa hiyo nikaanza nafikiria okay bring people ambao wako deserving for these positions and then huku nikasema what a better way kama kuanzisha okay wadogo kwa sababu ukinifungulia computer size i don't know lakini ukianza kumuelezea kwa sababu baada ya kufungua anakuambia hii ni hii hii pot ya hii hivyo whatever unaona so mungu alivyokuwa ajabu akanitoka na yeye sema mbao nilikuepo nilifuzwa kazi 
nikaenda kwa msema boy wasn't good yani kashushwa ile kama shuwa lakini Mungu akaninyanyua tena nikaja nikapata opportunity kazi sehemu tofauti ambayo nilikutana na technology za ajabu yani like really like nakumbuka sio kwanza nimeingia bendi ndani machozi kana mtoka and the reason ilikuwa nanitoka was like ene hata siju upendo wa nchi yangu ulitoka wapi yani watu wa nchi yangu especially watoto siju ulitoka wapi i don't know because ni kwa sijali uh ene like yani yani niko naishi maisha yangu i don't care about anything sijali kesho nini yani mimi niko tu yani nikaanza kusema Mungu wangu Afrika itakuwaje watoto watakuwaje unaelewa tutakuwa nyuma you know nikaanza kufikiria hivyo so that is when um ile idea ambayo nilikuwa nimefikiria ambayo nilianzisha lakini sikuifanyia kitu nikaanza kuipush na jinsi nilivyoanza kwa kweli nilianza nikiwa na dola 50 ambayo nilikuwa kwa rafiki yangu nilikuwa wow. sina hebu yeah so that's where the idea started nikatafuta watu any idea any kichwa ni kwangu nikaona Mungu anavileta and, and I bring into reality vitu ambavyo nilikuwa navifikiria kwa kichwa changu like na tell team na tell you fanya 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 hivi so nikuja kuona kwa mimi ni mzuri wa to bring watu tofauti kuja kufanya kitu ambacho yani kuja kwa accomplish lengo so nikaona wow let me do that so that's how iot ikaanza lakini sasa lengo um lilikuwa how can i introduce mambo ya coding and in, in, in programming in robotics kwa watu wa nyumbani unaona in the way we just came about it was nothing but god yani nothing but one day to be cause more details but it was nothing but god mungu alituleta you know wale wale mwana usomea pale even it was just god and so that's how we started at our toto ilikuwa tu ni mungu you know kaka mmoja so mimi naondoka vijana hivi huko watoto wanaondoka wanaanza go tukaenda tukakusanya tukaomba wazazi and that's how we started how i advertise it um i haven't done so much advertising so um to a lot of hurdles to a lot of roadblocks uh, um like kama tuko tuna platform to spend so much money and time alafu ikaja ika like ika like ika destroyed tukashindwa ku ku pata back so pale nikawa discouraged but kitu ambacho kilifanya i push push wale watoto na hiyo tukiwa mwaka jana kama mzoa 9 hivi wa 9:10 lakini wale watoto waliendelea kutusumbua tunataka tunataka so me that sometimes wale wana gift kitu kukea kwa sababu like i don't have the money it even cost a lot of money you know where am i going to get the money right now unajua so what so wakini watu wanaendelea kwenda wanaendelea kwenda mwalimu hivyo yani na mwalimu naye nilipata mwalimu ambaye alikuwa very persistent yani hani achi because the pressure this is a great this is a great vision for country na nini na nini so hivyo so then mwaka um eh ile kodi mwaka juzi ndio wali to crash so mwaka no no yeah mwaka juzi so mwaka jana mwaka jana wakati wa covid tuka revamp Uh, mimi na, na wale wanani no ilikuwa mwaka jana no 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 sorry mwaka huu mwaka huu sorry tuka revamp tukasema you know what less um, just, you know so what sorry tusumbua sana na kama let's just go all in nini kondo tumerudi tena like um you know trying to complete to complete the uh, tuko tuna pilot it's a startup uh, tuko tuna pilot sababu tuko tunajibu kuona like okay how to turn a wheel organi how can you spark interest in them na nina nina hivi hivyo so yeah wow. <laughs> i know it's a long story but i should have tried yeah. na hapa ni there for lakini nimejitahidi kuifanya for pia as much as i possibly can yeah. without leaving the key sasa so, uliingiaje marekani ulenda ku kwa ajili ya kusoma yani process zilikuwa ndio hivyo ukapanda ndege ukaenda au ilikuwa ni kwa maji how did you go <laughs> oh my god when you push it so i uh ile nikubisha kiti na kumbuka kati nimeenda shule uh wa marekani walikuwa wanauliza sana ile swali kuna msana mmoja alikuwa kwa sababu mkuja niambia ana mgana na geuka anambia nimeogelea acha ah sasa nani mamba eh ndio hivyo unaweza bahari mamba oh my gosh how many days ah Miezi mitatu what eh hey, I sometimes kwa ni mamba kwa and and walikuwa wana really wana mean wow. like oh my God. yeah that time internet was not so evil you know so 
Angemwambia mimi nilikutana na mambo ikabidi ni mdandie mgongoni. Nilipeleka ndio ndio alikuwa anaambia hivyo sometimes. Ana story na kukuka na mjibu tuko tumeka ndani kaa tuko a a. Yeah. Oh na huo wanakuwa na wanakubali, yani wana agree kabisa. Yeah. Especially wako kama wako hawako sport na wako sport na umu they don't mm-hmm. wako hawajui unajua. Hawajui. Yeah. Yeah, wako yeah, 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 they didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ngeza so sema mamba mimi nafuga. Kwa hiyo nikiwaona wanajua. Wewe yeah. huyu. Sasa unajiuliza mamba baharini. Wow. Um Okay, umeuliza nimekujaje? Mm. Nimekujaje? Nimekujaje au why nimekuja? Marekani. Boss. <laughs> Boss. Nimekujaje? Yeah, oh, okay, tumeshajua kupitia na kupitia kubebwa na mamba. Mamba. <laughs> Okay. Why? Um kwanza nilimo visa mara tatu. Mm. Nilikuwa na na hapo nilikuwa nishaenda nje before. Na nimeenda nje nimeshatembea, nimeshatembea nje nenda UK, nenda Jamaica um kama na TV. So na you know hili kile kitu kilikuwa vizuri. Kila kitu kilikuwa vizuri, you know? Tena baba alikuwa ameshalipa kabisa na shule hata kabla sijaenda. Alikuwa ameshalipa like semester hiyo. So nilikuwa na uhakika mm. napata ile visa. So at that time rafiki zetu wengi wa kwao you know that time wanaondoka na nini. So na mimi nilikuwa najua naondoka. Kaenda kuomba visa you know um ikakataliwa. What? what? I was very confused my dad when he was confused me kaenda mara ya pili reason though. reason it didn't make sense kumbuki yani kumbuki reason but it was not yani it was not a valid reason mm. yani i don't remember what the reason was the first time i was able to something sababu back says me kwa vizuri kila kitu kwa any kitu kitu kwa vizuri no i think it was something to do with i i yani kumbuki i don't remember but it was very minor and it wasn't even a reason nilikataliwa tu tukarudi mara ya pili ikakataliwa tukaenda mara tatu bango kwa sababu maybe niongeze you know nifanye nini labda influence gani na you know the bango alikuwa na influence at that time but i don't know look coming ukija kuongelea sasa hivi i know it was god ilikuwa ni mungu that's why you know he, there's something that god wanted to plant in me kwa sababu kwa nataka kupanda ndani yao yeah, yeah and uh mimi nili wakati hiyo inatokea nilikuwa very distorted yeah nilikuwa very distorted but at the time ile ndio kataliwa mara tatu wakaniambia tuli mara tatu waliniambia umeshakuja mbili so you have to wait umeelewa okay mhm that's why I'm going to kind of discouraged so at the time nikapata boyfriend nikapata boyfriend akili yangu yote ika toka kwenye kwenda you know because you know alafu ndo mdogo like i'm like 17 or something you know so niko like excited whatever living life having so much fun niko sleep with the wife and the art club is kind of having a good time napenda kula na kula kula ovyo So akili yangu ikawa like imetoa katika ile kama nimekosa visa. So babangu akanasema uende Uingereza. Sasa kuna rafiki yangu wewe alisoma naye shule kifungio. Nilikutana naye ah uh, alikutana uh, naye Sipwe. Alikuwa anaitwa anaitwa and actually anaitwa Mackay. She doesn't know kwamba she actually kind of I mean, Mungu kamtumia kama ku redirect like my destiny. So nikaa nimekubali nitaenda Uingereza kwa sababu uncle wangu ni professor amezoea pamoja na baba yangu. Hiyo kwanza baba yangu wa tatu. Ni professor University of Leeds. So wakasema tafanya mpango nitaenda pale shule or we don't have to pay kama international student as much. Nitakaa pale kwa uncle na nikishaenda kumtembelea uncle na ndugu zangu. So I was okay with it. Nimeenda sleep with that day. Na kutana na huyo uh, dadangu alikuwa anampenda sana tukio shule you know nikamwambia hey, vipi how's it okay akasema eh hey, hey, shule ngumu 
Sasa mimi nisipendi ugumu wa masomo. Yaani nisipendi kwa sababu nae kusumbua akili yangu usumbuke. No. Iache tulie lale. Eh, alivoniambia, nikaambia kuliko kifungiro, akaniambia kuliko. Aka yani pale aka tweet. Akili yangu. Tani kwa sababu eh you can see it. Sasa right about that time. Ah uh, like come a few months later. Boyfriend sio akali akaniambia nimepata visa nenda Marekani. Eh? Ule <laughs> dad. Nenda Marekani? Eh. Eh. Babangu alikuwa at that time Tanzania alikuwa ina nunua rada za jeshi na babangu alikuwa ni specialist wa rada hizi. Mm. Babangu kwa mwenda kununua huko. Babangu ameenda hata si yani hata si na wala sijali watambia ukudi kupita nyumbani. Nikudi baba alipiga ile walikuwa na kuzi. Ah okay. You know. Na angepiga kwa simu yangu sina habari. Nilirudi nyumbani siku hiyo na tafu nasumbua na nataka kuongea na baba ni peni baba na mpataje napiga namba gani? Nini yani ilikuwa nikashia vurugu siku hiyo wakanitafutia namba yani ilikuwa nikasheshe piga na nipiga na mpaka baba akapatikana hello ene baba akozoa muondoka hata muondoka sasa sina baba eh yes yani tena mimi baba yangu alisha niwekea makufuli mpaka kachoka nilikuwa nafanya vitenti moja moja mbili tatu na papa akija nakwambia kuna sababu ameshaleta bili milioni back in the day imagine milioni mimi napiga simu tu marekani piga tu simu ingereza piga kana lala kwenye simu hiyo mtu baba anabaki kata na kupiga So nikampata baba. Vipi? Nikaambia nataka kwenda America. Aju. Aju. Baba I want to go. Na mimi sasa tatizo. Babangu alikuwa ameandikiza sana. Yaani alikuwa anipenda sana na mimi nilikuwa najua kwa hiyo najua jinsi ya kumvuruga na kum you know niki. Ile tu hivi. Baba yeye anachanganyikiwa. Aju. Hivyo. So nikaambia nataka kwenda but aju. Nikaambia I want to go. Nikaanza kulia baba I want to go na nataka kwenda akawa sina rudi. Kweli akarudi wiki hiyo. Yaani ni soko alikuwa ni kwa ajili hiyo but alikuwa anarudi end of week. Yaani hiyo end of week nilikuwa nachanganyikiwa. Oh my god. I have to go. So akali alivorudi nikaa baba nataka kwenda. Baba akaniambia kina jumla. Sasa unajua mimi nilivonyima ile visa mara kwanza aliumia. And pamoja na influence yake ili just shindikana yeye kupata. Yaani kufanikisha mwanelewa so kama mzazi alinumia kwa sababu anataka mtoto wake apate kitu anataka na furaha yake mimi nikifurahi unaona mm. at any cost mm. but at the meantime wakati nimenyimwa ile visa pamoja nilikuwa na nilikuwa na sali na muomba Mungu nilikuwa naenda pale kijitonyama Lutheran kila siku kila siku lazima pe na muomba Mungu naomba nisaidie Mungu naomba nisaidie Mungu naomba nisaidie kila siku yani kila siku so babangu akasema okay tutafanya nini akaongea na mamangu mamangu akaongea na aunti yangu mmoja akamwambia kuna baba mmoja tumuombe anaweza katupatia i20 na shule zinafunguliwa hapo naambia ni mwezi wa kwanza wiki shule zinafunguliwa sio nini yani na you know it's, it's not easy kupata shule yule baba sio alikuwa ni alumni alienda babangu nakumbuka akamwambia dola sita aka toa dola mia sita zikatumwa um yule baba akaenda akaleta yani wiki hiyo like ladha 4 5 days nikapata i20 ili tu ana DHL haraka sana yule baba alisujezea kila kitu kila kitu siku hiyo nimelala nienda kumbuka ile wiki kati sasa ndio ipo simeanza nilikuwa naomba Mungu naomba naambia Mungu nisaidie nisaidie help me huku pande mwingine watu wananiambia enda kwa mganga nikasema mimi heri nibaki hapa kuliko niende kwa mganga mimi tegemeo langu ni Mungu na nikamwambia Mungu usiniaibishe tena yeye mimi nakutegemea wananicheka na wako wanancheka kweli wanancheka eh hey, unampigia Mungu kwa faona naambia usiniaibishe tena please siku hiyo nikalala nikaamka nikamwambia baba twende tukombe visa nikamwambia Mungu ameniambia nitapata kweli yani niliamka tu sauti imeniambia nenda kamwambie baba kupeleke babangu yani alikuwa yeye ndio alikuwa na uoga he's a very calm no he's a military man he's a very calm guy but i could tell na mpole lakini i could tell he was very yani alikuwa anasema Mungu wangu mtoto wangu akikosa hivi sasa nitafanya nini nitakufa so alikuwa anajua eh baba nitapata 
nakumbuka ilikuwa Jumapili wakafanya appointment wa I mean makao majukuu ya jeshi alifanya fanya nini wakafanya ikapata appointment ya haraka haraka kuna watu walienda pale wakafanya apo nikapata haraka haraka wiki hiyo hiyo ilikuwa Jumapili nikaenda baba baba ah uh, bango yako ende kanisani lakini aje kwenda kanisani <laughs> na nikumsha fursa kwenda nikaambia baba naenda kumshukuru kwa ajili ya visa nikaenda nikaambia Mungu nakuja na kushukuru kwa ajili ya visa kwa sababu najua nimepata nikaambia nikurudi sasa nikuja jua pili jayo nikamwambia thank you sasa ilikuwa pengine yangu kwa Jumanne I mean Jumatano Jumanne nikaenda tena kanisani nikaambia Mungu nakushukuru kwa sababu kesho nakuja kukupa shukrani lakini nakwambia Eh. Kumbuka hapo idea ni kwamba nini? Nataka kwenda kwa sababu wewe ndio unaenda. Lakini kwa Mungu ana mipango yake. Mm. Nimefika pale kwenye visa. Eh. Kila mtu no. 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 <laughs> no. Wakisema no hivi, mpango wa rangae na muone bango ile. Jashu linamtoka ambe oh. Baba, mimi niko very calm kwa sababu kuna sauti imeniambia kwamba utapata. Uwezi kuamini? Yaani nime unajua yule unakaa. Unakuwa tayari na wafadhili wangu kila kitu. Yule baba anaangalia, "Eh, eh, why? Oh, how are you? Kwa nini unachagua Alabama?" Nikamwambia, "Ah, I don't know, mchagua tu shule. You know this there's so much history huko. So so must be nini? Martin Luther King, I have no idea anaongelea nini." Baba akamba, "Ba, ba, jo sanani." Hakuniambia, hapo eh Nanyanyuka babangu naona kabisa anakuwa mtaalamu my dad was a military man very mm. ana command mm. lakini he was jashi na mtoka mm. nikanyanyuka nikarudisha kitu nyuma nikasimama nikasimama msemaje nililia pale oh. nililia paka yani nililia yani paka sasa nikukumbuka hii emotions zile mpaka mm. babangu badala kuja kunichukua babangu yaka akaniacha kaenda nje alienda kulia nje kwa sababu alipata furaha oh. unajua mm. You know ali, na alikuwa yeah. amefaa mkuanda yake you know amefanya I remember kama blue that day alikuwa amefaa two shirts like ya jotaza alili babangu alitoka kaenda kuli aliniacha pale na alia watu wakuja wakanyanyua yani mm. you know so that's how i came to us that's yeah ilikuwa nzuri yeah kwa kunyimwa visa ya yeah, tumepitia vitia ya yeah. mm. ina ina ugumu wake na ina raha yake unapopata mm. sasa ulipofika boyfriend ikawaje sasa tukiingia kwenye as elwin talk show guys ni youtube channel kama mnavona hapo mnaweza mkai mkaiangalia na mka subscribe yeah na pia kama kuna ambao mko kwenye my platform mkumbuke dada yetu yeah ya mweze mkamfollow itapendeza zaidi <laughs> ya yeah, itapendeza zaidi sasa uh, boyfriend dada p boyfriend ali ali ulivoenda uli sasa ulimkuta <laughs> na ulimkuta salama <laughs> yeah uh, boyfriend alikuwa salama yeye yeah, alikuwa anakaa state nyingine na mimi nakaa state nyingine niko nasoma shule mimi nakaa shule uh, okay ule utundu tundu wangu ule wa computer ule Mm. Aka ikawa nimefika sana aka nyumbani kama njoo nikamwambia na unataka kuja nataka kwa Amerika nini kipindi kile ulikuwa unatumia Yahoo Messenger kila kitu kwa sababu ilikuwa kuna Yahoo Messenger kulikuwa kuna Nintendo MSN hi five kulikuwa kuna hi five hi five yani kila yani wakiliitwa wazilishi wa tumeaji wa social media kama wajamaliza mimi ni nilikuwa na spend siku yangu yote nilikuwa na spend Yaani babangu alikuwa mpaka anaondoka nyumbani ananiatia niatia hivi. Lakini akiniatia hivi kwa sababu alijua mbaya la internet. Akiniatia hivi anataka kuingia kwenye gari anakuta ishakukuta baba. Ila internet. Yaani alikuwa na. Yaani ni ni kwa sababu ya kile tu gari imekuja. Yaani babangu alikuwa anachanganyikiwa ila internet yani hivi. So yeah. ilikuwa ilikuwa timia zote. So boyfriend ilikuwa uh, It's very good person. Kwa nalo nzuri sana 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 sana. Mtu mzuri. Baba alimfahamu. Baba mm eh baba mfahamu. Mm. <laughs> Mama eh baba. Babangu atakutoa na uh, atatoa. 
hata hata rafiki wa kiume kitu kwa kumbana baba mimi kwa rafiki za kiume kwa kumbana lakini ndio kuna kwa na rafiki kwa sababu rafiki zangu kwa zaidi dogo hivyo na rafiki sana kwa kwa kiume so kwa kumbana baba hivyo anaona mimi anaona hivyo ndio hivyo my friend you know so you know baba kumfahamu akufahamu like lakini nadhani wale pata ideas or something yeah yeah like baadaye alikuja you know wakati Tanzania abe ndo baba mtoto hapana hapana hiyo ni zamani but oh. ilikuwa ili, ili vipi ah, ya mambo ya kuna ni ya yeah. ya yeah. <laughs> nilikuwa na shemeji yangu mmoja alikuwa anasoma mambo ya teti kwa alifundishaje alikuwa na mshuka ananiambia fanye hivi hivi so ilikuwa mimi siko na nyumbani so yeye yeah, akaenda sama tu nikamwona wewe enda nini kile kitu sawa eh hey. karudi mimi na kitu fale kama instinct oga na instinct eh hey, hiyo instinct na yogopaga ikiisi kitu yani mm, akili yangu asikutulie mpaka na inakuwa na mfanye hivi fale mm, mm, mm. instinct nikaniambia hebu mm. nikamwona eh hey, wewe huko nyumbani uh, amna kitu mtu amenembea kitu but nimeisi tu mm. Mm. Sasa alikuwa anajua rafiki zangu ndugu zangu wana macho kila kona kila sehemu you know. <laughs> so mm nikaona vijipi. Nikaona mna mna huyu mimi namjua namjua very well huyu hapana ah, haiwezekani. You know na namjua roho yake ilivyo. So kaingia kwenye email. Eh hey, kaingia kwenye email nikakuta vya kukuta. Eh hey. basi nikaambia hebu niambie ukweli. Niambie hebu niambie ukweli bila kusamea. <laughs> niambie ukweli tu msamee bibi. Wewe ni habari tu just yani hiyo kitu yani na <laughs> Google kuna mtu ni waviaga haji akwai kukonkret kitu kwa sababu na mimi kelele changu niwaambia nilimpembelea kwa jambo hili akasema ya kweli nikamwambia oh okay kuanzia leo tena usije kuweka kwa navigation hapo kitu hebu akabela tu ni mbele kuambia ukweli nikamwambia ana ni mbele mimi danganye kama hivyo danganye hivyo so kuanzia <laughs> lakini um, washkaji washkaji tu wazuri okay ni niongeze ni, ni hadi swali hapo kwamba kwenye relationship sangine mnapokuwa vile wadogo alafu huyu kakaneza sasa hivi amekuwa nao amekuwa labda tuseme miaka hapo nyuma 2 years 3 years back akawa sasa ana anakuona alafu umependeza ye yeah, hajawahi kwa njia moja au nyingine akakutafuta labda ajaribu bahati Unajua kwanza ni mtu ambaye uh, hata familia walimjua. Yaani ni mtu ambaye yani mstari ina roho nzuri. Yaani ni mtu mzuri. Yaani mtu mzuri. Yeah, uh, yaani mtu mzuri kabisa. Yaani familia mama nini nini. You know. Kwa ni mtu ambaye has been hata kama sio communication naye wadogo zangu nini. Mama yangu kwanza hajafariki. Oh, okay. So ah uh, hmm. No, no really hapana. No. Yaani kwa sababu nilikuwa miaka mingi kwa sababu alijaribu wakati ule alijaribu muda mrefu sana mm. sana kuomba sana na sana sana lakini you know mimi nikishaenda bye 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 woga ni bye bye kwa sigeuki ni ilisha ita mtoto ambao umempata umempata kwa baba aja ajaondoa kwa right mm, mm ako baba ali ali feel namna gani na we bring only break the news kwa baba na wazazi kwa jumla how kwamba wewe mjamzito sasa na ni kosa nilikuwa nachanganyikiwa kwa sababu um yani kwenye akili yangu uwezi kuamini mimi mpaka baba yangu anafariki mimi hmm. najiona gani ameka 13 kwa baba yangu yani najiona mdogo hata hata ongea yangu niko naongea jana na mwanzangu na mwalibia I wish ngoona ni mwana baba yangu na ongea na baba yangu kama sijui yani yani nakuwa kama mtoto yani sijui yani I don't yani sijai kukua So nilikuwa nachangaika sana Mungu wangu Baba mm-hmm. oh, oh, oh. yani nilikuwa nachangaika so nili news nilimwambia na mama yangu mdogo kafuta na mama yangu tunaelewana naye sana nipende rafiki yangu mpaka sasa zao ni ma rafiki dadaku rafiki yangu rafiki sana yeye ndo nilimwambia ili kwa aje kwa kwa sababu nilijificha kwanza kwa muda so uh, ilikuwa ni US au Tanzania ilikuwa. US 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 after nilishakuwa dada mkubwa yeah. you know so yeah nilikuwa na 26 but akili yangu haikuwa huko kabla 
this yani aku yani kile yangu ilikuwa miaka 10 na kitu yani kile yangu ideal so nilikuwa nachanga kwa baba so mama naye eh sababu kwangu babake huyo kwa sababu yule sijaolewa nini and uh, you know imetokea so um mama mama mdogo akaja akamwambia mama so mama alikuwa ananisaa nifanye sasa so karibia karibia mwisho ndo nikamwambia mama okay nikafikia nikasema mama wangu alikuwa mkali kuliko pilipili ya mwendo kasi so while it was very cool and very you know but of course i know maybe a little disappointed before marriage and so cuz was like tumekulia kwa nimesingia lakini hakunipiga sana yule lecture but i knew you know you know what i mean but mungu ali kama ipanga mtu amekuja ndio amekuja hivyo you know so mama nikasasa ni mama na changaikiwa baba na kanambia no no let's not tell him bo mama akasema najua nitamwambia baba saa ngapi so eh mama naye kumwambia baba mm baba mama kana okay sasa ndio karibia na hiyo wiki ndio you know eh mama kana just tell baba just tell baba muombe tu baba eh ni muombe baba nilianza kwa sababu hello baba hello aju ndio sasa nataka hello hello aju eh 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 kilio ndio nakwambia sasa nini nini babangu wa pressure nini 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 baba ma have a baby i'm sorry babangu no 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 kwa sababu ile kilio kilikuwa ha ha ile nimekudisappoint kama i'm so sorry oje babangu achapi agombi ila na ile kwamba i'm very disappointed yani ile ile look ya very yani ile ndokuwa ananiwa babangu wala anipiga hapa hata sijali ila lakini baba ili I'm very I felt like I'm disappointed and I was I feel like I'm so sorry baba I'm disappointed just I know I'm very happy eh yeah so wow. I broke the new link bro yangu katulia ha so he was very happy and the, and the funny part is eh baba yangu alikuwa anatamani kuja kumsaidia yani ni is very good na watoto uh-huh. yeah yani baba yangu is very good na watoto alikuwa akuja mama yangu mwaka so acha baba aje you know because it's his thing mtoto hata analia vipi akimshika hivi. Yeah. Yaani ni mtu wa ana you know he was like that. That's so sad. unfortunately. Mm. Kwenye one of your video ah uh, clip umesema ulikuwa umeiba mizigo. Mm. Uh, ukas, ukasema hivi kutembea haraka upunguza uzito wa mzigo. <laughs> hebu hebu tupe experience ya ule mzigo kama kweli kutembea haraka inapunguza eh na punguza uzito wa mzigo. Kweli <laughs> unajua <laughs> nilipenda hiyo statement kweli. Nilipenda hiyo yani eh kutembea haraka yeah. upunguza eh upunguza uzito wa mzigo. Nikaona yeah. hata mimi nimekuta hivi mbona ukibeba mzigo mzito unatembea haraka. Yes. Eh. Ni kwa sababu unakuwa una focus unatoa focus kwenye ule mzigo unakuwa uko focus na ule mwendo. Let me get there. Let me get there. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Na uliongelea kwa na perception ya nini? Hasikuwa na perception yoyote. Lakini mm. um, when you when you look at it now, then as I'm Eliza, I'm thinking of it kwamba yeah, okay, ukienda fast, unaweza kuwa na mzigo wa mambo nini and you know, there's a way to solve it. Do it quicker because the longer ume unaubeba, unakuwa na Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.